my question is how should we answer the hindus who say that their religion is true as it is 14000 years old the question posed is that some of the hindus say that their religion is true and their religion is more correct because it is older religion it is 4000 years old therefore it is better how can you reply to this point number 1 everything that is old is not better depending upon what is it and the situation whatever is old is not always better for example as far as the computers are concerned later the model of the computer later the generation the better it is is i3 better or i5 better or i7 better no, i9 is better of course the later generation is much better than the earlier generation so depending upon what it is we have to decide what is better always old is not better as far as religion is concerned in religion first we have to see that it should be authentic and number 2 it should be it should be logical it should be practical and it should solve the problems of humanity allah clearly mentions in the quran in surah imran chapter number 3 verse number 19 inna dinna inda lail islam the only religion acceptable in the sight of allah is islam as far as hinduism is concerned and the question posed is that it is 4000 years old according to hindu scholars the scriptures of the hindus the most sacred scripture are the vedas the scholars of hindus differ how old the vedas are according to swami dayanand saraswati the founder of the arya samaj he says that the vedas are 1310 million years old but the majority of the scholars though they don't know when exactly was the veda revealed they don't know in which part of the world was it revealed they don't know to whom it was revealed in spite of that most of the scholars the hindu scholars they say the vedas are approximately 4000 years old and that's how you get this question just because the veda is 4000 years old and the quran is 1400 years old does it make the veda more correct or better number one you have to realize that first you have to check whether the scripture is authentic or not whether is it the word of god or not for any scripture to prove that it's the word of god it should pass the test of time and according to the scholars of hinduism they agree that veda is not in its original form all the scholars of all the major religions they agree that their scripture is not authentic and in the original form except the quran according to william noor who is a critic of islam and is against islam yet he writes 200 years before that no religious scripture is in the original form except the quran he for 12 centuries and he says so no scripture has maintained its original form except the quran for 12 centuries he said this 200 years before imagine a critic of islam is agreeing that the quran is not changed and is authentic number 1 if anyone claims that the word of god it should be authentic according to scholars of all the major religions they don't agree that the scripture is authentic and the original form except the glorious quran number 2 if you have many editions of the same book which edition will you follow but natural as long as the book is authentic you will follow the latest edition if you have a book for example developing human being the human developing human by professor keith moore you would like to have the latest edition you would not like to have the old edition later the edition the more correct it is as long as the book is authentic if the book has only one edition you go and look for the original book but if the book has multiple edition you would like to follow the latest edition and allah says in the quran in surah rad chapter number 13 verse number 38 that wali kulli ajl kitab in every age have we sent a revelation that means allah subhanahu wa taala has sent several revelations on the face of the earth but all the revelation that came 
before the last and final revelation of the glorious Quran. They were meant only for those people and that time. But Quran is the last and final revelation which was revealed to the last and final messenger Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs, it was sent for the whole of humanity. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Anbiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا كَا إِلَّا That we have sent thee not but as a mercy to the whole of humanity, as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to all the worlds. So if you know of a scripture number one, it should be authentic. And as I told you, no scripture has maintained the authentic forget except the Quran. If you have multiple version of the word of God, you have to follow the last and final version. And as I mentioned, Allah says that he has sent several revelation by name only four are mentioned in the Quran. The Torah, the Zabur, the Injil and the Quran. Torah is the way, the revelation which was given to Moses, peace be upon him. Zabur is the way, the revelation which was given to David, peace be upon him. Injil is the wahi, the revelation which was given to Jesus, peace be upon him. And Quran is the last and final revelation, which was given to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So if you compare, old is not always the best. If it has been changed, it has been corrupted. What is the use of the old book? And if it is not corrupted, you have to follow the last and the latest edition. Now the question may be asked, why did Allah not reveal the Quran earlier? Why did he reveal it 1400 years ago? Why didn't he reveal it 4000 years before or 5000 years before? The reply to this question I give is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the right revelation at the right time. I believe that maybe the human beings weren't advanced to receive the last and final revelation. Allah had the Quran in the Lohe But 1400 years ago, he thought this was the right time that the human being could understand the message. Now they have achieved that level. At that time he revealed the Quran. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 3, On this day have I perfected religion for you. And I have chosen for you Islam. And I have complete my favor on you. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is our creator, he knew that if he had sent this revelation 10,000 years before, maybe people would not be able to understand it. When the human being got matured, 1400 years ago, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, thought it fit that this is the best time to reveal it. And he revealed the Quran. So the logic that because the scripture is old, it is better is totally wrong. Number one, it should be authentic. It should not be adulterated. There should be no corruption. And Quran is unchanged. And I've given a lecture to prove is the Quran God's word that how you can prove it scientifically, it's unchanged. Number two, it should prove itself to be the word of God. The glorious Quran, previously was the age of miracles. The Quran is the miracle of miracles. When the Quran was revealed, it was the age of literature and poetry. And the Quran is the best Arabic literature available on the face of the earth. Then came the age of science and technology. And Alhamdulillah, today, if we put the religious scriptures to test, the only scripture that passes the test of Modern science is the glorious Quran. So Quran passes the test of modern science. All the other scriptures, if we put the test of science, they fail. Quran is not a book of science. S-C-I-E-N-C. -E it's a book of science. S-I-G-N-S. -S. There are more than 6,000 ayats signed in the glorious Quran, out of which more than a thousand speak about science. There is not a single verse in the glorious Quran which goes against established science. So Alhamdulillah, if we put it to the test of science, the only scripture that passes is the Doris Quran. So Quran is the last and final revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which was revealed to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him.